Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 10th inning here with your host, Nick O'Dwyer and Calvin James. Today, we're going to talk about the Sunday night conference championship matchup in the AFC between the two highest offenses in the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots in Arrowhead. What are your thoughts on this one? Oh, man, this is what we've all been waiting for. Patrick Mahomes, the emerging star against Tom Brady, the GOAT. Let's, we can't argue about that. He's the greatest player ever. Mm-hmm. The people are saying this could be a passing of a torch type of game in my eyes. I just think these are two great quarterbacks going to have a sh- duel, in my opinion. Patrick Mahomes with Travis Kelsey, Tariq Hill, and Sammy Watkins emerged last week and made a few plays that I actually liked. Yeah. With the running game of Damian Williams, I like that they have that. They never lost that edge with, um, excuse me, Kareem Hunt getting kicked off the team. They still maintain the running balance in their offense with Patrick Mahomes being able to sling that rock anywhere he wants. And, anyway. and yeah, exactly. That's why they've been able to keep that running game going because Patrick Mahomes is such a threat on offense that you don't have to rely on just the name running back, you have the threat of throwing it whenever you're going to any possible way to whoever. Mm -hmm. So that running game is going to be open because you can't cover two things at once. Without a doubt. And one thing I really, really liked last week was the Chiefs defense stepped up. They did. Big time. Made this this hot Colts team that, in my eyes, could have went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. And just stumped them, made them look like they're a one in five team again. Yeah. Now, in fairness, the Colts did not play well last week, but you can't take that away from the Chiefs defense either. Now, it helps the Chiefs defense that Luck did not have a good game, but how do you, that may have been their game plan to just get in his head, which definitely happened. Because by the end of that game, it also looks like Andrew Luck's. Shoulder started bothering him again. I don't know if you saw it, but what I saw is he started short arming it. He started throwing it like Philip Rivers. In my eyes, he wasn't just he wasn't getting the ball out there. Plain yeah. and simple, he was throwing pretty bad balls. In my eyes, mm-hmm. yeah, and that that's partly on him, but partly because of the Chiefs' defense. But the Chiefs' defense is gonna need to step up. Oh yeah, that Chiefs' defense game. they they were getting they were getting pressure. They batted down at least. Four balls that D line that was impressive. So they were definitely messing with the rhythm of Andrew Luck. Well, but the th- the thing is though, I I don't see that happening against Brady. Brady releases it as quick as anyone. Oh yeah, he has a very quick release without a doubt. That's yeah. a goat right there. The thing the thing the Chiefs need to be aware of is something that I'll bring this back to the Ravens defense. Something that Terrell Suggs has been so great at reading Tom Brady with. Tom Brady loves doing those quick screens or quick slants. As a D lineman, you have to get your hands up immediately if you want a shot. Now Suggs can read the Suggs read the play the play call better than some some other D lineman in the game. But whenever there was a screen, he jumped it almost every time. Yeah, it got past him sometimes, but you can't expect them to get it every time. But you're going to need to put your hands up on the defense line. Without a doubt. They're going to have to get pressured like they did last week. Let's see if they're going to be able to do a second quicker. Because Brady does get that ball out a little bit quicker. So, Well, and now let's talk about the Patriots' offense from last week. 35 points in the first half. They were humming. They were humming. They were, they were making it look like... A, a preseason game in my eyes. I'm sorry. Like, that looked too easy. Like, yeah. I thought I thought it was going to be a little bit of a game when Keenan Allen scored, but the Patriots just kept on handing it to him and to him with the Chargers bragging that we have seven DBs yeah. against Lamar Jackson, and Brady goes out there and does that. Well, and as I said in last week's show, like, anyone who legitimately chose the Chargers to beat the Patriots – didn't watch the Ravens game because the fact that, yeah, they did great in the first half against the Ravens, but the fact that the Ravens almost came back to beat them showed that showed me that they had showed me that they had no shot. Now, no, the Ravens didn't almost come back to beat them, but by the score, we almost did because it was a six point game. 
even though it really wasn't that close of a game the whole time. Just like Chargers Patriots. Yeah, the Chargers only lost by 13, but that wasn't a game at any point. 7 7 was the last time that was a game. But then the Patriots just took over. And one thing I really dislike about the Patriots, but if they want to believe it and that's how they're going to win, go for it. I really disliked what Brady said after the game of, yeah, I know no one believes in us and everyone thinks we suck. We suck. (laughs) But we're going to go out and do it. It's like, who thinks that? A lot of people did. A lot, I came and argue with that. A lot of people thought the Patriots were on the decline. See, if but you heard, but that's different though. That just being on the decline is different than you suck. I, I could argue with Tom Brady there. He's talking to the critics who said that the Patriots aren't who they are again. So you know he reads about that and that just fuels well, him up. That's fuel well, to the fire for and, him. And and I so do I can't get argue and, with that. and I do get that's what he's talking about, but for. A majority of people, yeah, there are obviously going to be some haters, and there may have been more haters this year than any year before for them. But if you actually have watched them in the playoffs and, wait, throughout wait. the piece, and I feel like he was being a tad bit sarcastic. Too. He may, he may have been. So he he may have been. Like, he so may imagine, have. Imagine you saying that. You like, you know what he means when he says that. Yeah. Yeah, and he's basically he, saying, "Oh, we suck." Okay, and he yeah, easily may have, been. but just because like all the media outlets are now not acting like it was a joke and they're really taking this seriously, what he said, that's the only reason I bring that up. But however, with me saying that, as you said, that fuels Brady, that gives him fire to the fuel, which Brady in the playoffs they. In my opinion, they've never been an underdog in the playoffs. So this will be a new new step for them. So I don't know how he'll handle the underdog Listen, pressure, but I know I know he'll handle it well. I don't know how the rest of the team will. Listen, those are professional athletes. Underdog doesn't mean nothing to them. Just go ask the last year's Super Bowl winning team, the Eagles. They were underdog in every single game. No, I know underdog help underdog helped some teams. But if you're not used to being an underdog, that could hurt. And, Just like, and the Patriots already went out there and proved that they're able to beat the Chiefs earlier in the season, so they have that confidence, even and, though it's a different game in a different stadium. But yeah, they that, still know that they could go out there and beat them. So I'm pretty sure they have the confidence. Yeah, that, yeah, that game was in Gillette. They beat them on a the last second field goal. But then again, you also have to think. The Chiefs had Kareem Hunt. They don't have Kareem Hunt now. And I know their running game's been virtually the same. But Kareem Hunt's Kareem Hunt. Yeah. It, it's a different person back there. Like, it's a completely different style. Which you gotta take that into account. With all that being said, though, I think the Patriots win. You think the Patriots win? Yeah. I as don't I, like that. I like KC. See, but as I said in last week's show... The Ravens were the only shot to beat the Chiefs, to beat the Patriots. I think they have a cakewalk to the Super Bowl. Now, this is not going to be an easy game by any means, but I think they have I got this. a question. Do you take into account that this is Patrick Mahomes' biggest game of his career compared to Brady when this is just his, what, 13th straight AFC championship? Or no, 8th straight, excuse me? Yeah, I was going to say, I, don't th- I think it's 13 overall, but yeah, eight yeah, straight. See, me. yeah, I th- I do take that into account. And I think, now, I don't necessarily think the pressure's going to get to Mahomes, but for as phenomenal as an athlete as he is, and with the stuff he does, I got to say, he makes stupid decisions sometimes. They haven't come back to bite him, but those left-handed throws sometimes, they work. Th- they, so, sometimes. And he's practiced it. He sometimes, sometimes he almost got intercepted on one last week. If the guy didn't drop the ball, he would have got intercepted on one. Listen. So, so that's why I'm saying it works sometimes, but you gotta be a little smarter on it too. Is in my eyes, it's different. You gotta deal with the gunslinger. Andy Reid likes him, and he gives him full throttle to that key to the offense. So, you gotta deal with a gunslinger. Just ask Brett Favre. But then, then I'll go with the Chiefs. If the Chiefs played 
last week like they did in the first, or if the Chiefs play this week like they did in the first quarter, then it'll be a shootout all game. Now, if they play like they did the rest of the three quarters, Patriots are going to demolish them. You think so? The Chiefs were up 17 nothing after one, and what? They won 27-7? to seven? The, I feel like Patrick Mahomes could keep up with Tom Brady if he, he can, can shoot out. He can keep up, but it just depends on what offense we're going to see because, yeah, the Colts' defense is good. Their corners aren't – their secondary wasn't great, but – Listen, just... you, you brought up an interesting fact last week about the Chiefs' offense, that they never scored below, what, 26 points? When they, when they lost? Oh, no, yeah, in general, yeah, they, in general, yeah. They score below 26 points in any game, right? Yep. So, I mean, yep. like, the offense is going to be there regardless. It's going to be there. So, I, I believe the Chiefs could do That's... what they got to do on offense. Well, that... Well, that's true, but if you if you take that number into account and you do that, just from what the Patriots had in the first half last week, they would beat them with that 35 points. Like I said, that defense is going to have to show up. That's for sure. Arrowhead's I think that's going to... Arrowhead's going to have to play a huge role in this. That's my key to the game, Arrowhead. Are they going to be able to affect Brady in any type of way? Even though he is Mr. Cool, Mr. Calm, no matter the situation. See, I think the key to this game is just both defenses because, as you said, we got the gunslinger Mahomes, and you you have Brady who he's going to find the open man wherever he is. Whatever guy that is, hell, he might even run for just a little bit. He might run for like two yards here and there. (coughs) He'll do something to get get that defense off balance. But I think the defenses are going to be the biggest key because – Especially the Chiefs' defense. They need to show up like last week. If they don't, they have no shot. But the Patriots' defense as well. This is one of the better defenses Brady has ever had in his career. But if they don't show up, then Mahomes is going to throw, throw on them all day. They need someone to be able to block to cover Kelsey. And they need to, they need to just keep up with the speed of Hill. Cause they, they, they need... They need to slow down. You, I don't know. You can't stop Tariq Hill in my you, you just can't. Andy Reid's going to drop ways to get him the ball some way, somehow. You seen on the end around last week. Yeah. 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 It's just fast. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what you could do with Tariq Hill because he's, he's unstoppable in my eyes. You just you need to get him before he gets in the open <laughs> field. Jam him up at the line. That's it's your like only old hope pro, of getting him. Old pro Stephon Gilmore is going to have to play like an old pro. That's and, gonna be a key. That's gonna be a key matchup in my eyes Sunday. All pro against all pro. St- Stephon Gilmore against Tariq Hill. Do you think he will shadow him? I think he will. I think he will. I think it would make sense too, because I don't think anyone else in that secondary can stop Tariq Hill. No. But you'll you'll need to. You'll need to the the Patriots can't do what. The Ravens did, or sorry, the Patriots can't do what they did against the Chargers, against the Chiefs, because the Patriots took a play out of the Ravens' playbook from when they watched the Chargers' film of, okay, if you stack everyone to the line against the Chargers, this could really work. If you stack everyone in the line against the Chiefs, and Tyreek Hill gets just a little bit of daylight, he's gone. Because you're oh, not yeah. going to catch Belichick up to him. Bill smart enough not to do that. That's yeah, a yeah. mastermind. So mm-hmm. I believe Bill Belichick will definitely have them coached up, ready to go. Yeah. So I th- I think this will be a close game. I think this honestly could go into the 40s. But I think the Patriots are going to end up winning this. I like in the that. In the negative 10 degree weather. This like could be Eric. ice bowl number two. I like Kansas City. Without a doubt, Patrick Mahomes is going to get it done. Okay. So, in these conference championship matchups, we both like the Saints, but we differ in the AFC. You like the Chiefs, I like the Patriots. All right, well, we'll see how that folds out. They'll be good games no matter what. These are the top two teams in each respective conference, and sometimes sometimes those make for the best conference championship matchups. So, there you have it. 
This is the 10th inning with Nick Dwyer and Calvin James. Until next time. Cheers.